Hey, thanks for joining me and welcome to another video in my series of the five things that I like about Insert Team. Of course, you can tell from my jersey and the colors in the background that I am going to be talking about the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, uh, Columbus Blue Jackets are a team that uh, was pretty exciting to watch last year, sp specifically blah, 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 specifically in the playoffs uh, when they swept the Tampa Bay Lightning, one of the greatest upsets in hockey, in recent hockey history, and in all-time hockey history. It was, it was awesome to see. Uh, sorry, Tampa Bay Lightning fans, but um, I think you can agree that that does not happen very often, so... Uh, it was enjoyable to watch. Um, so anyways, uh, I'm excited to talk about the Columbus Blue Jackets because it's a team that really doesn't get a lot of media attention. And uh, even people like me who make videos on YouTube, it's really one of those teams that uh, we maybe don't pay enough attention to. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited to talk about them. And uh, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. And uh, here we go. Here's the five things that I like about the Columbus Blue Jackets. Number one, the cannon. If you're watching this video and you maybe are a Columbus Blue Jackets fan or aren't a Columbus Blue Jackets fan, if you don't like the cannon, get out. Get out of this video, get 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 into that arena, get onto the TV and look at it. It's amazing. How could you not like the freaking cannon every time Columbus scores at home? A cannon goes off. Well, that's incredible. <laughs> what? What? There's a cannon inside the arena. It's it's incredible. There needs to be, there's one cannon. There needs to be three more, one at each corner. In fact, put them in the bathrooms. You know, you're in there in the middle of the game, leaving some leaving some treasure in the toilets, uh, and Columbus scores, boom, cannon in the bathroom. Good way to scare the out of you, right? So I love the cannon. There should be more cannons. Definitely number one on my list. Number two, the fans. I'm in an extremely lucky position here with this channel and the main channel post to post where I get to talk about hockey uh, as much as I want and for some reason people watch me and uh, interact with me in the comments so I'm very lucky that I get to meet and talk to uh, fans from around the league, uh, fan, fans of every single team in the league and I can kind of think about the interactions that I have with certain fan bases and uh, were they good, were they bad, like what are my favorite fan bases and uh, I can genuinely say that I have I don't think ever had a negative experience with a Columbus Blue Jackets fan now maybe if you're a Pittsburgh Penguins fan and you live in that area of the United States you could probably you'll probably say yeah the rivalry I've probably ran into a, uh, a negative or, a, or had a negative experience with a Pittsburgh Penguins fan but I can say that as, as a Canadians fan in Atlanta Canada about uh the Boston, a Boston Bruins fan or a Toronto Maple Leafs fan. I think it's more about relation to where you are. But for me, I've never had a bad interaction with a Columbus Blue Jackets fan. In fact, I've had all but positive, extremely positive interactions with Columbus Blue Jackets fans. They've been some of the nicest to me and I really appreciate that. So yeah, I like the Columbus Blue Jackets fan base. Uh, I hope to meet, meet more of their fans in the future. Number three, Nick Foligno. I recently posted a video on the main channel post to post uh, it was actually a Fan Friday video where I ask a question and you guys answer. And the question in that recent video was, what makes a good captain? And in that video, I spoke about uh, a, a captain like Connor McDavid, who is who maybe isn't the best leader, but leads by example as far as offensive production. Or is the, a better captain someone like Jamie Benn, who plays a, a more of a well-rounded game uh, and is, is more responsible defensively and contributes more physically and is genuinely... Uh, just a better leader and I think Nick Foligno kind of falls into that category versus the McDavid category. Nick Foligno will lay huge hits, will f will fight, is extremely um, gritty, now, not the mascot from, from Philadelphia, but uh, he's feisty uh, along the boards. He loves puck battles and he's good at winning them. He'll he'll score a goal, he'll, he'll create plays. He's to me, one of the perfect examples of a captain. He's a really good leader as well. Him and Jamie Benn, I think, are probably may, definitely top five captains for me in the NHL. I really like Nick Foligno, uh, probably one of the best U.S. players, uh, one of the best underrated U.S.-born players in the NHL. Um, I enjoy watching him play, and I hope you guys do too. Number four, Doug McLean. 
Now, if you don't know who Doug McLean is, he used to be the coach of the Florida Panthers way back in uh, my early days as a kid. And uh, he was then, after that, the GM of the Columbus Blue Jackets. And he, he did some pretty cool things, uh, one specifically being the cannon. He is the reason that the cannon exists. Uh, it, he wanted to do something pretty crazy, so he he made that happen. And I also have a bit of a, not really a personal collection, connection but I did meet Doug McLean way back in the day I've spoken about that in uh, previous videos but he's actually from Prince Edward Island where I've spent the majority of my adult life living I don't live there now I live in Fredericton New Brunswick but uh, yeah, I've always had a bit of a connection with with Doug McLean I felt so and I like him generally as a person he, he was with Sportsnet for in the most recent years I'm not sure what he's doing now but always enjoyed listening and watching Doug McLean on TV and uh, really like what he did for the Columbus Blue Jackets so I mean he's he's Part of the reason or one of the main reason that the cannon's there so yeah that's part of the reason why i like the columbus blue jackets number five jerseys now when i think back about the jersey history of the columbus blue jackets i can really only think of one that i don't really like and but all the others i really really like them specifically the one that i'm wearing uh, there aren't any other jerseys that i can think of in recent years within the 10 years even back to reebok that have the pinstripes that that look like this that go down the arms. Um, I think it's pretty unique. It looks really good. It's it kind of matches that whole Blue Jackets mentality, kind of throwback, I guess. Uh, I like the stars at the ends of the arms, the patch on the shoulder. Uh, they have some really nice third jerseys as well. I just really like their whole collection of jerseys. It's an easy one for me. Uh, as if you're familiar with my videos, then you know that I do collect jerseys. So, yeah, easy one for me. So, thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I'd love to know your five things that you like about the Columbus Blue Jackets down below in the comment section. If you haven't seen any of the previous videos from this series, uh, go check those out. Those out. I would love it if I could hear back from you on some other teams as well on those other videos. So, subscribe if you're not, and I will see you in the next video in the series. Adios.